Hi, so in this video we're going to figure out what the limit is as x approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 over x all raised to the power x. Let's begin by rewriting the limit as the limit as x approaches infinity of e raised to x multiplied by the natural logarithm of 1 plus 1 over x. Now, these two are the same. All you would have to do is uh, use properties of natural logarithm to bring the x up here and then these two would cancel and you'd be left with what you have on top. This is just an easier form to work with for this particular problem. As the exponential function is continuous, we can move the limit inside of it. So we're going to have e raised to the limit as x approaches infinity of x multiplied by the natural logarithm of 1 plus 1 over x. Now, in order to evaluate this limit, we want to get it into a form that's more amendable to something called el Hopital's rule. We want to get it into an indeterminate form of 0 over 0, or plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity. What we can go ahead and do is divide by 1 over x. So we have e raised to the limit as x approaches infinity over the natural logarithm of 1 plus 1 over x divided by 1 over x. If we were to just let x be equal to infinity, we would have the natural logarithm of 1 plus 1 over infinity and 1 over infinity. 1 over infinity just goes to 0, so this is 0, and the natural logarithm of 1 is just 0. So we have an indeterminate form of 0 over 0. So El Hopital's rule basically says that if you have a limit of the following form, You can rewrite that limit as the limit as x approaches c of the derivative of f of x divided by the derivative of g of x. The conditions that you need in order for this to be true is that f and g are both differentiable at c and that they are of indeterminate form 0 over 0 or plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity. In our case right here, both of those conditions are satisfied, so we can go ahead and apply all Hopital's rule. So we're going to have e raised to the limit as x approaches infinity. Now, the derivative of the natural logarithm of 1 plus 1 over x is simply minus 1 divided by x squared plus x. And the derivative of 1 over x is just minus 1 over x squared. Simplifying this gives us e raised to the limit as x approaches infinity of x squared divided by x squared plus x. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is divide everything by the highest power in this limit. That would be x squared. The reason that we're going to do that is that it'll cancel out any terms that are insignificant as the limit approaches infinity. And it'll make it easier for us to evaluate it. So we're going to have e raised to the limit as x approaches infinity. Now x squared divided by x squared is just 1. And this is divided by x squared. So that's just 1 plus 1 over x. Now, if we just evaluate this limit, we're going to have e raised to 1 over 1 plus 0, as this term approaches 0. And this is just equal to e raised to the first power. So that is the final answer to this problem. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found this content useful, make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you have a great day.